Hello friends, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink. A little bit of a different video. Um, lots and lots of questions about the Distress watercolor pencils that just came out about a couple weeks ago. Whenever. <laughs> they came out recently. I've already done, you know, a couple videos using them. And yeah, I'm really enjoying what little bit I've been seeing from other people. I've been, you know, in my own little zone during the month of September. But a post caught my eye from my friend Kulbir. I hope I pronounced her name right. Um, I will link to her Instagram in my, uh, in the description box below the video. She had posted this gorgeous card using these watercolor pencils. But what caught my eyes in the background of her photo, she had the distress it's the alcohol ink palette you can kind of see that here in the very lower corner of my video and she had shavings from these watercolor pencils in the palette and i it just stuck with me and i had mentioned it to her and i was like oh, it's just you're brilliant because it was i thought i was like huh i know a lot of people i've been seeing posts and people like talking about like saving the shavings and using them to create backgrounds and at first i was like <laughs> I was like really am I gonna bother because most of the time I'm like no I'm not gonna be you know that picky over shavings but I kept thinking about it and when I saw the her palette I was like oh that I could I yeah that makes sense because I have these palettes already I use them for other things they don't take up a lot of space it already has 36 wells in it, which is perfect because there's 36 of the watercolor pencils between the three sets. And then I was like, huh, huh. So I was like, you know, I'm going to try it because I like, I do, I do like these watercolor pencils. I've mentioned in other videos. Um, my struggle is coloring directly with the watercolor pencil, like having to use a lot of pressure. I've said this in other videos. I have borderline carpal tunnel in my wrists and I go out of my way to avoid that <laughs> like avoid aggravating it and I don't that's why you guys don't see me coloring with color pencils anymore those sorts of things anything that requires that pressure however with these watercolor pencils I found so far my favorite way to use them is to take my little water brush and I pick up the color directly from the pencil and then paint with them so I was like well this palette if I do that I could do that you know I could just use my palette and then the all other bonus is I was like, oh, and then I could have all the colors like right in front of me, just open the palette and they're here because that was my other thing is I do have OCD. I like to keep things, you know, in their sets, keep things the way they come, you know, and I know Tim Holtz, when he did his video about the, when the watercolor pencils were released, he had mentioned that he's going to put his in the distress storage tin, like all of them. And he'll just dig through and grab them because that's, you know, how he works and how it works for him. And I thought about that too. And I was like, eh, I can't do it. <laughs> I was like, no, I just, I know that will bother me. Like digging through is fine, but not having them organized, you know, I just, I got my quirks. So this palette just got more and more enticing. So that's what I worked on in this video here is I sharpened all of them because I know some people do a same thing. You, you like having them sharpened. And I do recommend, and actually Tim recommended in his video, and I thankfully I already had it, this Prismacolor sharpener. This is a great sharpener. So I'm using that. It took me a few, you know, a while to realize the easiest way to do this was to take, I took the lid off the sharpener, the lid that holds the actual sharpening pieces. And I was sharpening these directly into my little uh, triangle tray here. And that made it perfect. So I would sharpen each watercolor pencil into the tray and then pour all those shavings into each well of this Distress palette. And sharpening them this first time gave me more than enough shavings. And I will admit I was wrong at mental just thinking. It's not like I go around and like critique people online. I get enough of that. <laughs> so I don't do it to other people. Um, but no, like just these shavings alone, just from the first sharpening. And it's not like I sharpen extra. I literally just sharpen them till I got a point. And look how many shavings I got to fill this entire palette. And I am going to get, I don't even want to know how much use I'm going to end up getting out of this. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I did it. And I will actually have a video coming very, very soon using this palette. But anyway, all I did after I had filled 
all those wells with the shavings. Again, it took me a couple tries to figure out like a, a system to get this working. And I discovered that the easiest way to like do my little swatches, you don't have to do this, but even to make it more useful down the road so that when I open it, because that was my other concern, I was like, knowing me and my absolute klutziness, I was like, I'm going to knock this thing over. You know, the lid is decent and the, those little wells are raised, but I was like, I am going to end up like knocking this over and I'll have like watercolor pencil shavings absolutely everywhere so what I did is I just took I have a little bottle that I keep on my desk um that was a tip I picked up from Christina Werner years ago I have this little glass bottle on my desk with a, you know an eyedropper and I just keep distilled water in it and that's what I use a lot of times that's what you guys see me use when I'm adding water for splatter and all those things because it's just convenient so I took that dropper and that's I dropped drops of water into all these wells just four or five drops something like that and because these are watercolor pencils at the longer they sit all those pieces start to absorb the water and it's basically going to solidify I don't know how long this is going to take to dry because I'm literally just doing it and sharing the video but I'm just going to leave it open out of the way where I can't knock it over with my elbows and let it fully dry and then this way I will have this great little palette to color with um yeah I'm quite I'm already enjoying it because again I've already filmed another video I have to actually edit it right after this one and, and this is great my little swatch chart is just a piece of distressed watercolor paper I used my ranger uh, ruler because I love all the grid lines on it and I used a pencil and just drew not a very good grid because some of my squares aren't the same size they're supposed to be one inch squares but whatever <laughs> and then I painted each square with the corresponding color of the watercolor pencil simple I might go back with like a sharpie and label them I kind of don't think I'm gonna bother because I'm not the biggest fan of my own handwriting and also it just I kind of know all the distress colors that's part of it too people asking about um like, you know, I have XYZ brand of watercolor pencils. Honestly, if you like using watercolor pencils, these distress ones are great. My thing is I have practically every form of coloring medium. I would have got these anyway because they're distress colors. That makes them unique to any other brand of watercolor pencil because the distress line of colors has unique colors, you know? So that for me right there, is is more than enough reason but also these are I like them they're fun so that is how I did this I wanted to do a separate video just showing this because I will then link to and reference this video when you guys see this palette in future videos so it makes sense like what on earth is she doing <laughs> and I, I don't I who knows where this will go like if down the road if I'm using the pencils and need to sharpen them again that sort of thing if I'll, I assume I'll, what I'm probably going to do is I'll use up the pal, you know, use up a color in the palette and then I'll just sharpen more into that color and keep using them this way because I, I like it. Although I still might use the pencils. There's there's benefits to it. We'll just see. These are still pretty new to me. It's all just is what it is. But I really like this idea. And like I said, I will link to her um, Instagram because I can't take credit for thinking this and I do I think it's just brilliant so and also she's worth checking out because Kubiar makes she makes beautiful cards I could just spend so much time just like scrolling through her Instagram so definitely check that out I will also have links below the video to all of this everything I use so you can check that out below if you're interested thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>